Chapman, the acting director for the Parks and Recreation Program. Um, uh, what you see before you is the work of a lot of people, obviously. Um, but I'd like to give thanks. It's a little, it's a little more formalized here in the remarks, but to the community enrichment program, that's the folks that really spearhead this work and have been doing so for a number of years. Nancy Burns, Leona Frankowski, and Cindy Waggle, and others in that department. Uh, Cam here. There's a lot of folks that put this on uh, each and every year, and I just wanted to give an initial thanks to them for for making this possible again this year. Um, thanks to them. Um, Chief of Staff Dan Gilman's with us tonight too, so he'll be helping with the, some of the presentations. I uh, just wanted to move forward with opening remarks. Um, this is the 19th Annual Artworks Exhibit and Award Ceremony. When a city is selected and joins a National Arts Program, the program becomes an annual event. Artworks, now in its 19th year, is co-sponsored by the National Arts Program Foundation and the City of Pittsburgh's Department of Recreation. Artistic, creative, talented, Talent resides in everyone, and our intent is to give City of Pittsburgh employees, their families, and members of their household an opportunity to showcase their talent. The program provides professional and non-professional artists alike the rare opportunity to exhibit their works publicly. An independent panel of judges is assembled to select the winner, and at this time I'd like to thank and acknowledge our judges on, on a very difficult job done well again this year. Boris Britt Breitner, uh, Chief Conservative, ANJ Vader and Company, Inc. Lindsay Huff, Art Studio Supervisor, Pittsburgh Center for the Arts. Robin DeNorma, retired Post-Gazette photographer and gallery owner. Thanks to you for coming out again, helping us with the judging of all this great artwork. And here's the formal thanks to those that are on my team. I'd also like to acknowledge and congratulate Nancy Burns, Lee Frankowski, and the Community Enrichment Program staff. Their hard work and dedication helps make this exhibition possible each and every year. Cindy Weigel, Cameron McGee, Albert Giovanassi, and Larry McKay. Please join me in also giving them a round of applause. Additionally, we'd like to thank our caterers this year from Pittsburgh Fresh, and I thank each and every one of you for submitting the work, taking the time to do so. I think there's some pretty fantastic things here. I've been working here for about eight years, so in this building. I've gotten to see this every year, but I'm recent now, maybe eight months in at the Parks Department, so this is the first time I've been engaged in it in this way, so I have a deeper appreciation for the artwork as well as for the work that goes into putting on this event. So thanks to everybody. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce Chief Gilman. Thank you, Director. I'm Dan Gilman. I'm the Mayor's Chief of Staff, and it's my pleasure to be here tonight uh, to recognize our, recognize our employees. Uh, on behalf of the Mayor, uh, I want to thank all our employees uh, within the Department of Parks and Recreation who do this event and so many other special events in the city throughout the year that celebrate the accomplishments and the talent of our workforce. I've been a city employee for almost 15 years now, uh, and every year uh, I am amazed at the diversity, uh, the talent, uh, the camaraderie and the spirit of our city workforce. Uh, this particular uh, exhibit, which as Ross said, is something I look forward to every year, though I can assure you I will absolutely never uh, be a participant with my talent in this competition. Uh, it is amazing, uh, the talent that resides in the hands, in the eyes, and in the hearts of the people who work in this city and their families. This competition is open to all employees and their families, as well as our four authorities. And this year, we had 140 pieces of art by 90 participating artists that represent every single city department. In addition, I want to recognize the National Arts Program Foundation, who continue their support, the artistic ability in all of us, not only through its sponsorship, but also through an increase in the Monetary Awards Arts Education Scholarship for Youth. A show like this displays more than our collective talent. This exhibit displays the city's determination to make art a priority, not only among our employer, employees, but also as a city policy that can be seen in our schools, our special programs, our public right-of-ways, and our public art programs. It is the mayor's pledge that this priority will continue throughout his tenure. 
And without further ado, I want to get to the part we're all excited for, and that is the awards. And I'll turn it back to our director. Uh, and thank you all for your participation this year. So we're going to we're going to run through the um, the awards uh, uh, from honorable mention through first place for each category. For those that get an honorable mention, I'll call everyone out by name. Um, there's also a brief description as to your connection to a city employee or the city itself. Should you be an employee of the city of Pittsburgh? Um, for honorable mention, folks, please just we know that everyone couldn't be here this evening. So if you could just acknowledge. Um, yourselves and we'll acknowledge you by raising your hand by the third uh, for the third through first place finishers we ask that you come up um, and get a, pic a picture taken with with chief gilman um, so without further ado um, 2018 national arts program winners for youth 12 and under honorable mention edward hurley jr his piece is called pizza <laughs> Edward, are you here? Uh, oh, oh, there's Edward. Hey, Edward. <laughs> Edward is the son of, of Ed Hurley, uh, who works for the Bureau of Fire. Great job. Um, Ryan Sharp, uh, piece is called Splatter Invasion. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Way to go. Uh, Ryan's the son of John uh, Sharp, who's also with the Bureau of Fire. Um, and lastly, uh, for honorable mention is Presley Lucas. Her piece is called My Dog Georgia. I don't think Presley's here because her mom, Susan, works in my department and Presley's home sick today. So Sue, Sue wasn't with us, but uh, Sue's with the Department of Park and, Parks and Recreation. So congratulations to Presley. For third place, uh, through first place, please come up if you're here, please. Uh, third place. Cooper Media, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, Eye of the Storm, Cooper's not here, but Cooper's a great nephew of the great Nancy Burns, uh, Department of Parks and Recreation. Couldn't be here because they live in Connecticut? Connecticut. So um, take a look at their piece. Uh, it's, it's really nice. That's third place finish. Second place finish, Hugo Mastro Berendino, Backyard. <laughs> Way to go, Hugo. Hugo is the son of Gabriel, Gabriel Master Berendino, and forgive me if I don't get pronouncing eight. And pronouncing, Claire. And Claire. Oh, Both you know what? <laughs> a, a, an omission here on the uh, Department of per, uh, Permits, PLI, and also the Department of Public Works uh, facilities. Thanks. Great job, Hugo. Um, and first place goes to. Theo Media, again, uh, Nancy Burns' uh, um, great nephew, also from Connecticut, couldn't be here. Department of Parks and Recreation, hats off to Theo. Mm. That's our youth 12 and under. Um, let's move on to the teen, 13 to 18 um, age group category. Honorable mention, Maggie Goob, the Knight's Right Hand. Maggie is the daughter of William Goob, also a Bureau of Fire. Uh, and Samantha Shimko, looking at you. <laughs> Samantha here. Samantha is the stepdaughter of Jen Olzinger, who works in the Office of Management and Budget. And I did see Jen here somewhere. <clears throat> oh, okay. Congratulations. Third place, Julia Wingard, Roses Are Red. Please come up if you're here, Julia. Way to go, Julia. Julia is the daughter of Jeffrey Wingard, Bureau of Police. Nice job. Second place, Michelle Bethel, uh, Flashing Lights. Way to go. Way to go, Michelle. Michelle is the daughter of Maria Bethel, Department of Public Safety. Way to go. And, and first place for the teen category, 13 to 18, is Dylan uh, Heaves Dash. Thank you. Sorry. The piece is called Coffee Maker. Congratulations, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's the stepson of David Hop Hopman, uh, Department of Finance. 
Way to go. Congratulations. Uh, now for the amateur category, um, honorable mention. First goes to Evan Miller. It's a cold mon. Evan works for the URA. Way to go, Evan. Andrea Ketzel, green man. I saw Andrea somewhere. Andrea works for DPW Architecture. And Larry McKay, untitled number two. Larry works for Department of Parks and Recreation. Way to go. Third place uh, for the amateur category is Lori Walton. The uh, piece is called Ghost Ship. Is, is Lori here? Lori is the wife of Elick Walton, uh, also in Department of Public Works, Maintenance Division. Second place goes to Scott Schubert, Pittsburgh Point of View. Chief Schubert is the Chief of Police. I thought that, I thought it was the Chief. He was it. Okay. Way to go, Chief. And first place goes to Virginia Burke. Piece is entitled Rudy the Happy Corgi. Uh, Virginia is the mother of Jesse Burke, Office of Management and Budget. Congratulations. 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 Now we move on to the intermediate category. Honorable mentions are Linda King, Perspective. Linda here. Linda works for the Ethics Hearing Board. Patrick Hassett. Pat, are you here? Pat works for the Department of Mobility and Infrastructure. And Dan Buzniski, I hope I said that correctly. Earl and Great Bradley's Shadow. Dan also works for Mobility and Infrastructure. Congratulations. Third place goes to Kathleen Strompel, hanging out in Costa Rica. <laughs> Kathleen is the cousin of Alice Lavelle, uh, retired from the Finance Department. <laughs> Second place, uh, Felipe Palomo, the attic of the mine. Wife accepting, thank you. Felipe works for city planning. And first place for the intermediate category goes to Donald Giles, Gold Rush Mountain. <laughs> Don works for Department of Public Works. Congratulations, Don. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah, yes sir, good to see you. <clears throat> Professional category, honorable mentions. Gabrielle Mastro Berendino, Origins. Gabrielle works for the Department of PLI. Way to go, sir. Harvey Butts, uh, under the Manhattan Bridge. Harvey works for the Department of Public Works, Architecture. Good job, Harvey. And David Summers, um, Winter on Broadway Avenue, Beachview. David is the husband of Maureen Summers uh, with the city's law department. Third place, uh, someone that I know, Caitlin Cooper, untitled number one. I, don't know, I didn't see Caitlin. Um, she works for the Department of Par Parks and Recreation. She works in our Healthy Active Living program, our senior program. She does great work. Congratulations, Caitlin. Second place, Angela Pasquale, Space Catch. Angela is the mother of Phyllis uh, D. Diano, I hope I said that correctly, Bureau of Police. Yes, ma'am, congratulations. And first place for the professional category goes to Amanda Lee, Fat Frog Friend. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Way to go, Amanda. Amanda works for the Department of Permits, License, and Inspections. <clears throat> Congratulations. 
and I believe we are at the best of show. These are this means. Oh, sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Um, should we do best of show first? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so to the to the program winners, the grand finale. Um, there's a $200 art education award from the National Arts Program Foundation that's given each year. This year it goes to Damien Griffiths for Whiskers. Way to go, Damien. Damien's the son of Bob Griffiths with the Bureau of Fire. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. And, uh, Lastly, last but not least, best of show goes to Mallory Hurley for her piece, Annunciation. Mallory, are we here? Oh, way to go, Mallory. Mallory's the wife of Ed Hurley, who works for the Bureau of Fire. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Congratulations to everybody. Um, again, thank you for your participation this year, years previous. Um, we, we'd like to, and we think that, we. Uh, we see some growth in this every year. I'm not, I, Nancy could speak to it better than I, but of course it's something we want to continue to grow. So thanks to everybody. I think every piece here is, is definitely worth uh, everyone taking a look at. So please enjoy the rest of the event and thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs>